All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Liz Barber Shop. Today, I'm doing a review, I'm doing an open box of the Bevel Tremor. Um, this was a gift from a very good friend of mine. This is my actual first time even seeing this in person. So, we are gonna see this together. Got the Bevel Tremor. I also got the Bevel T-Blade. This is the box right here. Give you guys a 360 of it. Put this right here. Take this out. Oh, okay. It slides right out. Saying the packaging is always important. This packaging is beautiful. It goes right here. I don't know if you could see it clearly, but it says bevel trimmer in like a matte black, I believe, or gloss black. Smells good. Oh, this is the actual uh, limited edition one. This is the black on black. This is the black on black. I'm not gonna lie, this looks really good. Oh, I already got some uh, fingerprints on it. This is the black on black one. This is a very expensive clipper, very expensive trimmer. This is a solid feel too. It's it's good feel. Uh, it feels really good in the hands. I thought it was gonna be bigger than this, but thank God it's not. It's a pretty good size. Show you guys this. Oh. Or the bottom. This is where you charge it at. Uh, this is the blade. Ooh, the blade comes right off. I'm saying that's pretty dope. You could take this off and just clean it. You snap back on. Snaps right back on. Now, how do I turn this thing on? I have no idea. Oh, it goes switch right here. Seamless. You couldn't even tell. Oh, no, 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 how do I turn this on? I have no idea. <laughs> so let me read the rules. This is the first time I had to read rules on a tremor. Well, before we get to the rules and turn it on, I'm going to look at the box, see what it says. It's 6,000 strokes per minute. Standby time is 180 days, that's pretty good. Includes the bevel trimmer, square blade, charging cable, cleaning brush, blade oil. This trimmer allows you to do quick adjustments, no screwdrivers or hardware needed. Simply snap the blade off in a jet zero gap. Easy cleaning blades, repel dirt, oil and build up to help prevent bumps and irritation. Cool to the touch, runs cooler than any other trimmers so you can hold the trimmer comfortably and securely. Nice. It's consistent power with or without cord. The bevel trimmer maintains the same power and precision with or without cord. Perfect balance, weighted for optimal and hand balance and maneuverability with a smooth touch tool on the skin. Superior control, soft touch grip, which is it's a very nice soft touch grip on this. Uh, custom faceted body allows superior control and 360 non-slip handling. Sounds really good. Now, we gotta find out how to turn this thing on, cause I can't tell. Oh, look, oh, I didn't open the battery. Wow, this is, wow, this is very minimal. This is dope. Put the battery back in there. So I finally figured it out. The reason it wouldn't come on is because when you open this up, they actually cover the battery with a little plastic piece. So this little plastic piece right here is not allowing it to connect with whatever it connects with in the inside. Hopefully you guys can see it. Look at it, oh, look at that blade, you heard? Look at that. So once you remove this plastic piece, boom, and then you, uh, you know, spin this back together and you hit the switch and it's, uh-oh, what am I doing wrong now? It was just working, let me put this back. going on with this 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 is kind of this is insane this was just working oh all right <laughs> so this happened to cover a little piece of the metal piece um so now 
I, I see this little piece right here covering the middle piece, so I gotta remove that now. I don't know how I got on it, but it's off. All right, so here we go. One more try. Wish me luck, man. This is crazy. And one, two. Ah, here we go. Hmm. I like the sound of it. I really, really do. Feels pretty solid, pretty powerful. Um, I don't know if it has another uh, power option to it, but no, it don't. Which is fine, so this is something. That actually feels pretty good. Wow, that actually feels pretty good. Um, I have to try it on one of my clients to see how it really hit, you know, when we start doing the shape ups. But, um, I like it. Uh, I don't know, this is not zero gapped. Matter of fact, it looks like it's zero gapped to be honest with you. So I'll probably use it on one of my clients to see how it works. But, um, let me see. Wow, this is a game changer. So in order to zero gap this, all you gotta do is literally see this little thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see this little knob right here. All you gotta do is twist this knob and it will go higher or lower. See that? That's crazy. Wow. This, this is definitely a game changer for, uh, for a trimmer. This is insane. This is this is nuts. So now let me see the T-blade. I heard the T-blades are pretty big. Some people say it's too big, so let me see how that looks. So, I mean, I'll make a big difference. But it looks, this is quality. This is definitely quality, it's solid. You can see that blade is pretty thick. It's a pretty thick blade. Let me see if it adjusts like the other ones. But I zero gap it. And honestly, it does. This is, this is bananas. Let me slap that on. And it's dope how you could just switch blades just like this. Like, you don't gotta take no screws, no screwdrivers. Just literally take it off and, and just snap it back on. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. I like this. I like this. Look at that. It sounds good, it's not too loud. Um, it's not too many uh, cordless tremors that's, uh, you know, at a good volume like this. Most of them are pretty loud. So, I like this. I'm gonna show you guys how this hit. Uh, so, um, in the box, before I, I leave the box, it looks like this, it comes with this foam thing right here. Let's see what's in this. This looks like the charger. Charger right here. This box right here. Okay, this is a uh, cleaning brush. Oil. And a little pouch. All right, so guys, I am back now. I've been using this trimmer for over a week. So this is gonna be probably the most accurate review I've done when it comes to a clipper or a trimmer. Um, I have some footage to show you guys about how it works. I'm gonna show you guys that later. But um, my review on this is based on my hands-on experience on this. And um, when I saw this before, there was almost some kind of mixed reviews about the trimmer and how it works and you know people's opinion of the trimmer, the bevel trimmer, right? And it's gotten a lot of mixed reviews and after using it, I kinda have a, a hard time to understand why so many people don't like this trimmer. Cause I think this trimmer is excellent. I mean, it's really, it shocked me. I was like, wow, I didn't expect that. It's really an amazing trimmer and I really don't understand why some people had some bad reviews of this trimmer. Um, so let me get into what I like about it 
and then I'm gonna get into the things that I don't like about it. So what I like about it automatically is the fact that it's easy to use. You turn it on, boom, turn it off from here. Uh, the blade is very easy to clean. It snaps right off, you know, and you could adjust it from the knob like I showed you guys earlier. You could adjust it from this knob right here. This little knob right here, you could adjust it from there. Um, and it's inter interchangeable. Like you could literally swap this blade out for your other blade and you don't need no screwdriver or anything. You just snap it off and then you snap it back on that easy. Like so simple. Um, the weight is great. Um, it has a battery. I believe this battery is replaceable. Uh, you put it back on like this. Just pretty much just slide it in and just turn it and it's back on. Uh, I tried to use the bevel, not the bevel, the babyless charger because I have that in my station to charge this. It can, but it doesn't stay on in like that long because obviously it's shaped it's strictly for a bevel. So you gotta use a bevel charger, but it charges pretty quick. I think it takes about an hour for a full, full charge, but it lasts eight hours, guys. So I charge this trimmer literally once as soon as I get to the barbershop and I do not charge it at all for the rest of the day and I can use it through the whole day with no problem. I could even use it the next day with no problem. So this battery lasts a really long time and I love that. Uh, the other thing I do love about this trimmer is the blade is, is very quiet compared to uh, the sound test. Compared to uh, other trimmers, like the Babyliss trimmer is extremely loud. I'm gonna show you the difference. This is my Babyliss FX Skeleton Trimmer. This is the sound test right here, listen. Very different in sound, so I really love the fact that it's not that loud. It's thicker than the Babyliss Trimmer, but it seemed like, I thought it was shorter, but it's about the same length. It's just a little bit bigger. Um, I'm not too crazy about the width of it, but you know, it's not the worst part about the blade. Um, I really, what I really like about it the most, honestly, is the fact that it hits. I'm gonna show you right now. Just, just, just look at this video. This is me using this to shape my client up. There's no enhancements, no fibers, nothing on his hairline. And I'm, it, just look how sharp it hits. Look at that. That joint is hitting. Like, I would have never thought these hit like that. These are a certified hitter. I mean, now let's get back into, let's get into the things that I don't like about this trimmer. What I don't like is, I don't like the fact that the blade is just so big. Um, it kind of obstructs my view sometimes because if you look at this blade, right, it's, it's, it's shaped where like, most of the top of the blade is not blocking anything. This, everything is blocking, it obstructs my view, and it's just a huge blade. If a guy has like, or you know, a lady has like a really small forehead, um, if you're not careful, you could literally, you know, cut some of the eyebrow, and you don't wanna do that. Um, let me show you guys just how big this trimmer is, this blade. This is the blade, this is the Babyliss FX. So if you put them next to each other, it's this much bigger. That's crazy. See how big that is? It's humongous compared to that. All right, so now, the other thing I don't like about it, I'm not really too crazy about the ergonomics. I feel like it's not too friendly for my hands. Like if I gotta turn it on and off, I gotta reach at the bottom. It's, that's like a really awkward place. Saying so it takes two hands for me to turn this off because I don't want to drop it. So I got to like put one hand on it and then turn it off. You know, this, this trimmer, everything is at my thumb. It's, you know, this makes sense to do that. I don't know why they put it all the way at the bottom. Oh, by the way, I also like the, uh, the soft grip on this too. This is a really good idea. It's not too much not to like about it. Like I said, I don't like the blade. I don't like the button where it's placed. And I'm not too crazy about the ergonomics where it obstructs the view. But besides that, it's great. So I'm gonna rate this now from a scale of one to 10, and I'm gonna average it out. I'm gonna rate it based on a few 
different things and I'm gonna average it out. First thing I'm gonna rate it on is practicality. For practicality, this is definitely a 10 because of the way you could adjust the blades, remove the blades, charge for eight hours. It stays charged for eight hours. Uh, I think that's amazing. So they get 10 on practicality. Ergonomics, I'm not too crazy about the ergonomics. Hopefully uh, Bevel could, you know, reinvent the, the shape of this trimmer because it's definitely a good idea. For ergonomics, I'm gonna give them a six. As far as how sharp they are, I'm going to give them a 10. How durable the blades are, it's a pretty thick blade, it's clean, it's, it's solid, they get a 10 on that. The bevel blade trimmer, whatever you wanna call it, it gets a nine out of 10. And trust me guys, when I say these hit, these hit. And you gotta be real careful, because if you adjust them too sharp, if you're not light with your hands, you might scar your clients. It's some definitely, they definitely some sharp trimmers. Once again, this is L from Liz Barbershop. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Liv's Barbershop, L-I-V-S Barbershop on Instagram. I'm the same name on Facebook. See you guys next time. Please let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm going to keep dropping more content for you guys. Hopefully, we can build this channel up and get it going. Peace.